Whether or not your painting turns out, I think it's always worth it. I'm back in one of my favorite places. This is El Dorado Canyon State Park. And I have a couple of friends here. They're actually painting down by the river. And I'm gonna hike up a little bit further and just see what I can see. So I'm excited for another adventure outdoors. It's absolutely perfect weather today. This is called Rattlesnake Gulch Trail. You can see it's just gonna start going up and up. Oh, look at the layers here. I'm tempted just to stop. I haven't even hiked up very far, but I mean, what more do you need, right? You can hear I'm breathing a little bit harder. I am hiking uphill and I haven't even gone half a mile, but um, it's pretty steep. But the temperature is absolutely perfect today. Oh, and there's a beautiful bridge up ahead. Check it out. So many places I could stop. This is just one of them. Amazing. I've done this hike once before with some family members and I don't remember it being this long. I obviously wasn't carrying all my heavy gear when I went hiking with my friends and family, but um, I have a specific spot in mind. We'll see if I can tough it out and make it there. There's the trail I was just on not that long ago. All the way down there. Well, I am sweating. <laughs> it's been a mile, all uphill switchbacks, and I'm still nowhere close to where I thought I was gonna be. So, little ways to go yet, but this is what we train for, right? Yeah. Here's another gorgeous composition. Look at the light streaking across the trees. Oh man, pretty. Yay, I'm almost there. It says up here, Continental Divide Overlook. And I, we're almost there. So, woohoo. And get this, this is super crazy. There used to be a hotel way up here, 1908 to 1912. Craig's Hotel, isn't that wild? So these are some of the old ruins on the top of the mountain. We are at the top of a mountain. It's hard to tell because of all the trees, but yeah, there used to be a hotel back here. I mean, how crazy is that? These are some of the ruins from the old Craig Hotel. I don't know what this was, but it's crazy to think. So how did people even get up here? I mean, it's so remote. I know there's a an old railroad track up here. That must be how they came in or just by horseback. <laughs> 1908, that was a long time ago. Wow, cool, check it out. More ruins from the old hotel. What, this is an old fireplace. Look at that. Wow, there's even still some of the metal parts on it here at the old hotel. It's just, just ruins. That's crazy. Nothing but mountains, trees, and rocks. All right, well, that was a fun little detour, but I gotta stay focused. Back to the trail, gotta get to the overlook. That's where we're headed. Back uphill again. The good news is, it's all downhill when we head back, <laughs> but Am I even gonna have energy when I get to the top to do a painting? I don't know, we'll have to see. What is that? It's like wood that became crystallized inside of this rock. See how sparkly it is? That's so cool. There's the old railroad track. 
truly in this early morning light, everything sparkles. Well, shoot, this is where I was at the hotel and I was supposed to go this way and instead I went this way. So now I'm here. I'm gonna have to turn all the way around again. Uh. Don't you hate that when there's signs and you still go the wrong way? I do that all the time. I don't have the best sense of direction. <laughs> but I told my friends when I get to where I'm gonna paint, I'm going to drop them a pin <laughs> so that if I get eaten by a bear or a cougar or something, they'll at least know where to find my body. Just kidding, kind of. Wow, there's another gorgeous snapshot. Beautiful lines and shapes. I haven't met a single other hiker on this trail today, except at the very beginning. And so that means that I can talk and film and not be self-conscious about it. I don't know if you guys struggle with that. If you're, you know, painting outdoors or in public and you're like, I just don't want people to see me. I get that. <laughs> I get it. It's uh, a lot easier to be confident when you're making your own painting mistakes solving your own painting problems in private. <laughs> but uh, now I'm gonna share it all here with you. I'm gonna put it all out there and hopefully we have some energy left for a painting after this. Uh, okay, back at the old hotel again. Take two, we gotta go this way. I think I'm actually almost there. Ooh, after this invigorating 2.2 mile little walk uphill, <laughs> we're gonna have all the blood flowing and the creative energy going, and I feel great. I felt a little bad about skipping the gym this morning, but uh, I think I more than made up for it with this vigorous hike. <laughs> I feel great, this is the best. This is the best life, I'll tell you what. Holy mother of wildflowers, isn't that gorgeous? Wow. And we've reached it. The Continental Divide Overlook. This is it. Not a bad view. I can't believe I get to live here. It's amazing. Yeah, the steep trudge to the top. It's hard to tell just how steep this is, but you can hear how hard I'm breathing. Ooh, is it gonna be worth it? We'll have to see. I'll stop and breathe. Almost there. And we're approaching. Oh. The top of the world. Oh my. This is where I want to be. Oh my goodness. Happy place right here. Holy sweaty. Whew. Oh, it's so hot. Hot but happy. What to paint? So many choices. I love this rock. Look at this tree growing out of the rock. I just love rocks. I'm gonna have to do something with rocks. For oh, sure. So here I'm really attracted to the tree growing out of the rock and just the brightly lit up rock shapes against the dark mountain and the blue sky. So I'm gonna try to capture kind of this rectangular composition and just try to do the best that I can in the short amount of time that I have. So let's go for it. So I'm just gonna set up my easel and get started. Now before I start, it's a really good idea to do a sketch first, so that's what I'm gonna do next. There's quite a bit of dappled light on my paper, which is kind of frustrating and hard to work with, but it's what we have. It's a part of being out here and painting outside. So I'm gonna just start with a sketch first.
Well, there's my painting. It's one of those days where I'm, I don't know, kind of happy with it, but mostly just glad I got out here and actually went hiking and enjoyed the beautiful day. Whether or not your painting turns out, I think it's always worth it. I really struggle with trees, so this was super good practice, especially getting that the shadow of the tree on the rock and also the texture of the rock, the sky behind it, the lighting. It was a lot of challenges, um, but I had a lot of fun and I had to really try to simplify a lot of things. So that was a really good experience for me, I think. All right, well, so long to this location. I don't know if I'll be back to paint here again. That was quite a hike up. Chances are next time I'm gonna try something new, but I feel like it was really successful and I definitely enjoyed this little excursion. So now it's time to hike the two and a half miles back down to my car. Well, I tell you what, it's a whole lot easier coming down than it was going up. I think next time if I come here, well, when I come here again, I'm definitely not gonna hike this far. <laughs> Honestly, there's so much beauty to be seen, even really close to where I parked without having to hike four and a half miles, getting all sweaty and then not feeling like I had enough time to paint. So, you know, live and learn, but I'm still glad I did it. <laughs> Never regret going for a great hike and painting and filming. It's all fun. So for all of you moms out there watching this, worrying about my safety, <laughs> Don't worry, there's a lot of people around and I still get cell phone reception, so um, I'm not in danger. And I, this is honestly where I'm my happiest is when I'm hiking by myself. I feel so free. <laughs> the, the kids are with daddy today, so. So just now on the trail, I met a young man holding a beautiful bouquet of wildflowers. And I just commented as he passed, I said, aren't the flowers extraordinary? And he turned to me and he goes, can I give them to you? <laughs> Isn't that sweet? Aww. There really aren't enough lifetimes to do all the paintings that need to be painted here. All right, time for painting number two. We're going down. Successful painting trip today. Thanks for watching, everyone.